Hello everybody, George Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made these gift tags. This one is supposed to be an elf one. And all it is is two pieces of card. Um, top one decorated quite easily. Um, and tied together by a bit of baker's twine. This one's supposed to be a Father Christmas, again, with two pieces of card. So I'll show you how to make them. And then these, which are my favourite, is just a piece of card with double-sided tape on the back, a candy cane and a bit of stamping. And I've done one with the reindeer out of the cookie cutter Christmas set so we'll make them today I'm also going to show you how I made a tag using Mr Snowy the snowman set so we'll do them as well I've already stamped and cut him just need to colour him in and then put a ribbon in him and that's all we've got to do. So the first one we'll do is we'll do these these two first. Right. For these you will need I'm using old olive. So it's two inches by four inches, I believe. Yep. Yeah. Two inches by four inches in old olive and white cardstock. <clears throat> the same in the red, two inches by four inches. You'll need some scrap of white for the belts, uh, black, sorry, for the belts. These are three quarters of an inch, and then we can trim them off. You'll need some scrap gold and scrap black to make the buckles. I think they're an inch square then, but we'll cut them out. To make the elf's collar, I used, and I haven't got it, let me go and get it. I used a punch. It's a flag punch, it's an old stamping up one which I've had for a while so I use that just punch out three of them I'll do that now so I can't pick this scrap of white up all we need is three one two three that's that finished with um, for him for the Father Christmas um, collar all I did was use a one inch circle punch and cut out two half inch circles I've cut one smaller than the other. That's all right. I just use my scissors and trim them up. So they're both the same. Same. And then for the front of the coat and the bottom of the coat, I just cut out what I think. A strip of white and I'll tell you how long and how wide I'll do so this is three and a half by half an inch and that's all you need for down the front there and three eighths along the bottom 
So that's that. The circles I punched out of another punch. <sighs> Let me go and get it. It was the... No, it wasn't that one. That's an hour punch. It was the cookie cutter punch. Yes, I cut them out of the cookie cutter punch. And what we need is five black ones. And I use this two little holes here. There's two. Four, one more, oh, we'll do there, so there's our black buttons, get rid of them, um, I think we've got all the bits, just got to do the buckle, so Cut an inch square for each buckle. Oh, Father Christmas had a silver one. Well, Father Christmas is going to get a gold one on this one. So all I do is And then we need a half inch square to go on the inside, like that. So I've only got one cut, so I need to cut another one. One for you. For you. That one looks a bit big. It's not even straight. The time I finish trimming this down, it'll be too small. And that'll go in there. Right, let's put all these together. Right, first of all, we need the tag punch so we can cut our tags out. So we just put that in and punch. Same with the white one. Put it in and punch. Hopefully they'll both be the same size now. And then same with the green one. Put it in punch. And Put that in. Punch. Nice. Get rid of that. Don't need that anymore. Get rid of the rubbish. We'll do this one first. So what I did with, with the collars, I glued one under the hole and the other two I put to the side like that so with my glue
made loads of these. I sold, oh, I don't know how many at the craft fair I did a few weeks ago. Trim that down afterwards. I think I went with, I packed them up in packs of six. And I went with 40 packs. One trimmed. All I'm doing is following the green round to trim them off. And then we put the belt on. And put that in the middle. So it's straight. Yeah. And then again, trim it off. And then with this, we just put on two buttons. One there, and one there. What you could do with this, if you've got some red and white striped paper, is make his trousers. Just put a bit under the black belt. But I haven't got no red and white striped trousers to do that. Alright, I'm sticking this black square in the middle of my gold square which isn't very straight let me see if I can trim that little bit up. that's better And then we just put this, and that is not straight either. Can you tell I can't cut straight? That's better. And then what we do, we'll get the corner punch and round the bottoms up. You have to round them up on the green and the white. A bit of glue on there. Must have dropped a blob and not seen it. There you are. Gone. Oh, that's for Father Christmas. Right, put these two together. And to join them together, I've got some green and white baker's twine. And I just fold it through. Tie a knot in it and then just trim it off. And there you have the elf one. Now to do the Father Christmas one, we take our circle, no we don't, we take our piece for the bottom. Let me glue that on. A piece for the bottom, I'm sure I said. I meant piece that goes down the front. And using your where the hole is for your ribbon or twine, use that as a guide to get the middle. put 
that on. Put the collar on, we just use this and pop it halfway. Same with that one. Try and get it straight. And then this piece of fur on the bottom. that off and here we also punch the bottom round it off and then you have to do the same with the white Now we pop his belt on. I'm not being too fussy with these. That's my daughter ringing. Oh. My husband's got that. So that's his belt on. And now put his buckle on. Uh, again, not straight. And then the centre bit. And buckle straight. Ooh. Right now we'll put on three buttons, one right at the top, one by his belt, and one under his belt. And that's that done. And join the two together. Now this bake, red and white baker's twine I've got is very thin, it's not very thick. So what I've doubled, done is doubled it up. So I shall thread that through. Like you do. And trim it off. And there you have it, two different gift tags, ideal for kids, they only end up in the bin. Because I don't think they take much notice of their gift, gift tags. Put them to one side and we'll do Mr Snowy. Now, all I'm going to do with Mr. Snowy is just quickly colour in his scarf and hat. I 
I mean, if you've got any Christmas dyes that you're quite, you really like, turn them into tags. All you got to do. I did that one in cherry cobbler light and this one is granny apple green dark I sent some Christmas parcels off to Scotland and I used the ones I'd made of these. I only had about four left. On my granddaughter youngest granddaughter and great grandson's parcels. So hopefully they'll be pleased with them if they see them. Well my great grandson. He won't even know he's only just turned one. Right, once I've done that, I got my Winker Stella and covered the bauble in Winker Stella and the hood of the hat or the fur trim of the hat. glitters on this has come out really fast. Very shiny. <laughs> so what I did this card that I'm using the um Marcus didn't come through. Uh, didn't come through on that because I did cut a double side out, which I'm still going to stick on. Um, to cover the leakage. Well, not leakage, is it? It's just that it comes through. Um, cardstock, especially Whisper White, and cutting out a double one was just to conceal it. So that that one go on no that way. I've got my grandson coming round tonight. As my daughter's on nights for the next two nights. Right. To make the hole in the hat, I used the trio punch and I used the one with the little oval on it. And all I did was put that in as far as I could and punch down. And I got a little hole. That don't seem to be going in very far. Oh yeah. And for this one I just added this white ribbon that is one eighth of an inch. So all I did was Cut off a piece Yeah, that'll do Oh, 
So that 13 and a half inches. Thread it through the hole. Pull it tight and cut off. And do the same again with the other one. So I'm only going to do 12 inches. Right, this video is going to be a spare one. So this is going to... Um, Obviously when you see this, if you see it, it's going to be a Saturday video this. Because starting the 23rd, I'm going to be doing thank you cards. Oh, I needed to drink them. So there you have it. Two snowy... Mr. Snowy Christmas Tags which I thought was kind of cute and like I said when I made the Santa Claus ones I made loads of them for the fair, Christmas fair I did and they went pretty fast so now it just leaves us to make these ones. For these you'll need a piece of card, six inches by three inches, folded in half, and burnished. I'm going to make two. I have got a reindeer and a candy cane, so might as well make both of them. Now I did one where it opened like a book and one where it's a tent fold. So I should do the same again. But first of all, I'm lucky enough to have this double-sided tape and on it, the tape doesn't go right to the edge. It is a lifting tape so I put some on the back of each card and when somebody wants to put it on their present they just need to get a hold of it and lift it off and as you can see I don't know if you can see it's not as wide the tape is not as wide as the backing I don't know where I got it from, whether I picked it up by mistake or what, and I thought mm, that's handy for the cards. Right, let me clear up some of this mess. The stamp sets I'm going to use are Candy Cane Lane and the Hold on to hope, but I only want this tiny one for the holly. For, well not holly, the green bit round the bottom that represents holly. And I need candy cane, candy cane season. I didn't get it out. And out of this one. We're just going to use this ho 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 sign, stamp rather than sign. So I need to put that on a block. So with old olive. A 
and open up my card I'm going to go around each corner and stamp this in one doing. Don't take much to confuse me. Right, with crumb cake, I get this stamp, ink it up really well, and I just put this in the middle. Like I always say, Using photopolymer, don't forget to use your stamping mat. There we have it. Put this away. Right, I do have a candy cane and a deer left over from when I made them last time. So we'll just stick them on the back. Oh, stick them on. I have put them on dimensionals already. And I just pop that. Like that there. This one I've used all bits and pieces of dimensionals. From around the edges. Right. And stick him there. So there you have it. The candy cane and the reindeer gift tags. So we've got these. I've also got Mr. Snowy. And I've also got some Father Christmas and the elf ones. Well I hope you like that. If you do give us a thumbs up and if you want to see more of my videos please subscribe and press the notification bell next to it and you'll be notified of any time I upload more videos which usually is a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thank you for visiting and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.